Hi there, welcome to Pixelisco. This is the Krita introductory series and in today's session I am gonna talk about the selection tools and why you should use them. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's start the discussion. We have several selection tools here and except for these two, all the options, tool options that is over here are same for all this. So I'll start by the rectangle tool. And before I start, I want to just talk about the necessity of this tool a little bit. So uh, suppose you have a drawing where the edge is really defined, but you want your brush stroke to be really dynamic. And how can you, how you can achieve that? You can argue that okay, I can uh, draw this uh, by hand and all that, but there is a problem. That is, you have to be really stiff and you cannot achieve that kind of dynamic brush i mean you can achieve but it will be really hard and there will be the problem of stiffness and so to limit your stroke to a defined boundary the selection tool will help you so i'm undoing all this garbage and i i have clicked this and now i'll just click anywhere in the uh, canvas and I'll start dragging and when I want to release I release so now it has a defined area and if you sketch here this notice the sketching will be done only in the inside so this will define your edge but it will give you the freedom to explore your brush strokes and that will help you to draw so this is really really essential tool and so uh, let's explore the tool options here. So there are two modes. One is uh, pixel selection and vector selection. I'll talk about the pixel selec uh, selection for now. So we have several actions over here. And before that, I'll um, I'll talk about how you can disable this. All right. So to disable this, you have to press Control Shift and A, and it it's gone. Now you can freely um, sorry that was my brush was not selected now you can paint anywhere else in the screen and if you want to do that again you have to go here and then draw a rectangle and start drawing again but there are several options that you need to know for example there are these actions the first action is selected actually this is highlighted but um, we cannot really see the highlight uh, very good very well but notice that this gradient is missing here we have a slight gradient here so this is replacing the existing um, existing shape what does that mean so suppose I have started a shape and now I will start another shape this shape replaces the previous shape that's it but it um, you can change that so in order to change that I just simply click uh, ctrl Z that is undo and if I change this to um, suppose this is my intersect so it will select the area that is intersected between the old and the new selection so that's this again I can um, do is with various kind of shapes and to get my boolean type of effect and that's really really great and there is my um, union basically it will add the two shapes and make a uni body so that's that and there is this um, difference so it will cut a hole from the old shape and the new shape will cut a hole from the old shape so there's that and another thing is that you have your width height and ratio these are nothing but the in the primary when you draw the circle as uh, sorry in the selection it will define that but if you want to change this nothing happens oh another thing if you by chance uh, this mode is selected from the start if you now select something it will select the invert of this selection so if i draw something it will draw outside this 
so if accidentally uh, this happens you can invert the selection going here uh, and invert selection sorry yeah control shift i will do that yeah or um, you can go again by selecting this so there's that so there is your rectangular selection tool so next in line the circle selection tool basically it draws an ellipse and if you happen to press shift it will draw a circle magic the same thing happens for the previous one also it will initially draw the rectangle and if you press shift it will draw a square and they both join because I had union selected here so had I selected the replacement it would appear the uh, the square would appear only and not the rect not the circle so let's undo that basically all the options are same for the circle as well as it was in the rectangle selection tool and uh, i'm not going over all this uh, but one thing you must know that you can combine all the shapes to make cool and precise design so if i want to intersect circle and square sorry rectangle it will do that i don't know why this uh, bottom one is not coming but there's that and if i now want to add one circle at the end of it see now it came so there's that so what is it a little gradient or something and there's your dynamic sketch so that is really funny and really cool next we have our polygon selection tool and before that i just undoing this all right or i could have just deselect the, all this basically polygon selection tool is um, it you can click in the you can click in the canvas and it will start drawing in the selection by means of line and if you end the line here and press enter it will the end point and the beginning point will will be joined and the selection will be done and this also come up with all these things and this is the our sorry uh, yeah this is our um, replacement this is our intersection so if i intersect something so there's your shape and this is your polygon selection tool it can be really beneficial for make drawing or something which has very defined and uh, mechanical shapes and that mechanical shape doesn't include the circular shapes <laughs> so there's that so next in line is our outline selection tool and basically uh, here you just draw it and it appears you don't need to end this line and this can be really beneficial for quickly sketching the areas where you need to sketch and you just go sketching so there's that now let us combine all this technique and make a simple sword so let's get started so let's get started with the time lapse and this is my rectangle selection tool and add action method and i subtracted some of it and then i added the blade using the polygon selection tool and add method and then i subtracted some of it basically it's a repetitive process you can use and combine all your selection tools one by one and get your shape <laughs> but the second sphere yeah it got onto my nerve then i'll uh, use the i use the freehand selection tool and carved out some deformity and then some grip at this point you want to select your lighting direction and you would like to stick to that you want to stick to that and this uh, straight line was drawn by using the v key again this was the specularity it means that the middle part is slightly uh, above the rest of the thing and once you have selected your lighting direction 
you you want to uh, create some shapes uh, using light and shadow basically everything is the illusion so i am drawing the specularities and when you want to draw the specularity you can use the screen method it um, it can enha- it can enhance the lighting that is in, i mean the lighting the lightness and then if you want to have the shadow then you might want to use the multiply method this those are faster for going to the same result and i am following the light direction yeah sorry about that i was not sure where to start next and then i chose the smooth brush and starting drawing the blade and then the shininess of the blade which will be um emphasized by the broken areas so basically it's just the repetitive process of the same thing and now i'll start the handle so it will be deeper and i am trying to figure out the lighting direction and the specularities and as the areas are slightly above the i mean the field then in that case those are more specular than the rest of the area and this is a sh- shadow so and which is um, facing the light that will be more specular in that case and which is opposite to light that will get the shadow so i drew it accordingly and same goes for here so basically the selection tool allows us to draw freely without worrying about the border or anything about that so the main purpose of this tool is i mean in drawing is that you don't have to keep in your mind once you sh- set up your boundary and i'm shading the blade now notice i am um, giving some dark color here and because um, the middle portion is slightly above the rest and that's why it will get um, slightly more shadow than the rest at the right side so at this point i have inverted my selection though i didn't need that because already the layer 5 was underneath layer 6 um in which i am um, i have drawn my sword and layer 5 is where i am drawing the background but a yeah, background is necessary because it emphasizes your um, specularities of the sword unless you have drawn a dark background the whiteness of the sword will not be so much visible so you need that and same goes for the right side and here be your final render so this was the first part of krita selection tutorial series i will cover the rest of the selection tools in the next part if you found this video helpful please give me like comment and please share it with your friends and if you're new to this channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out any new upload from this channel so that's it for today guys i'll see you soon